Hey guys, what's going on? Oh man, if you guys went out on Black Friday shopping, I hope you guys are still alive and watching this video because man, God, if, if who worked Black Friday? I mean, just answer that below. I want to know that. If you work Black Friday, I feel your pain. Ah, anyways, uh, if you guys are wondering what this video is going to be about because the title may not be as descriptive as you'd like for it to be, um, it's just pretty much going to be me going over a lot of random things that are going on in W right now. Um, as far as, and also what I would like, a little bit of what I would like to see for the rest of the year, 2010. Um, so yeah, um, oh, um, the only thing I got for myself in Black Friday was, uh, Halo Reach, in case anyone's wondering. Uh, I know it's been out for a while, but it was 40 bucks, uh, if you have a GameStop near you, um, if you, if you don't have this and you want to pick it up, it's 40 bucks till, I think, Tuesday or Monday. Uh, and then at Walmart, they had NBA 2K11 for 30 bucks. I didn't get that, it was like, because I got this, but yeah, so... Got that out of the way. Um, first thing, Ms. winning the WD Championship. I'm not really gonna even spend more than two minutes on this because there's countless videos on that. I know you guys are really, you know, like fed up with this. You may or may not be, you know, but quick thoughts on it. I don't really care about it, to be honest. I'm not like, oh fuck it. I don't even care about WD. Not like that. I mean the point where like I don't really I'm not really angry nor happy about it. I'm just like I'm actually just curious to see how they're gonna book his title reign. Um, just because, you know, is it going to be like Jack Swagger's title reign? Is it going to be like Sheamus's title reign? You know, there's a lot of questions that come to mind. Uh, I think it'll, it'll really, um, show a lot about the Miz of how he carries himself with this title reign. I mean, it, you know, he was that arrogant, um, annoying heel without the championship belt, you know, bragging up how one day he'll win it. Let's see if he's that arrogant and, or even better, um, pulling off his character after he's already won the actual belt. Um... You know, going into TLC, um, I've, I don't know, I've been thinking about this. Is it going to be a triple threat ladder match, or I mean, a TLC match? Or, a, I mean, I'm sorry, not a TLC, a ladder match between him, Barrett, and Orton. Is it just going to be him and Orton in a ladder match? I mean, at this point, uh, this which leads me to the John Cena thing. At this point, you think John Cena may come back at him, you know, because he's obviously not fired. I was For those of you who actually thought I was serious and with my uh, John Cena's fired Survivor Series review, then... Yeah, you need to get yourself checked out. But um, John Cena could come. If it's a triple threat ladder match at TLC between those three guys, John Cena would come and screw over Barrett yet again, which, you know, would eventually push it to maybe next year, um, Royal Rumble pay-per-view, where Barrett may challenge Cena. And, you know, if Cena wins, he gets his job back. I don't know, something like that. Um, with Orton, I could only see him continuing the program with The Miz, whether it be in a triple threat or just, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. That's the only thing that I can see that they'll do with him. Um, the King of the Ring tournament is back, and it's hopefully going to be, it looks like it's going to be better than the last time they had it when Will and Regal won it. Um, it's good that they expanded this to both Raw and SmackDown. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, when Will and Regal won it, I think it was only Raw guys, so it was really small, and the guys they had in there were just like, really? You know, like, if Punk didn't win it at that time, you were just like, okay, anybody else is just like a joke for winning it. Um, we got four guys from Raw, four guys from SmackDown. What I would like to see happen, because apparently it's going to be one guy from SmackDown in the finals against one guy from Raw in the finals. Uh, I'd like an Alberto Del Rio, Daniel Bryan match. It makes sense for more reasons than one. I mean, first of all, you got a face and a heel. Got that checked out. You got a guy that's over as a he as a face, you know, slash nerd, whatever you want to call him, Daniel Bryan. Then you got a guy that's over as a, as a heel as far as not over, you know, getting the love from the crowd, but over as in he's getting the reaction he's supposed to be getting. He gets booed, believe it or not, he does get booed. Uh, if you listen to his promos, if you listen, call, if you listen to him call Rey Mysterio a Chihuahua, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, and plus, to top it off, I think these guys can have an amazing match, which I think makes it more prestigious of actually winning the King of the Ring. You know, as a, if they have a shitty match, or if it's if it's like let's say it was Kofi against fucking. Or not, Teddy Biasi against T uh, Kofi Kingston in the finals. You're just like, okay, after winning, how how you know desirable is the King of the Ring? But if Alberto Del Rio and Daniel Bryan have a killer match, it's like, wow, these guys are working their ass off. They must really want to be King of the Ring. The King of the Ring must be must be awesome, you know. It, 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 it's good to insert that kind of um, not knowledge, but that kind of thought into the young viewers' minds because to them, they may only have the the only King of the Ring memories they have is King Booker winning it and William Regal winning it. It's better to insert some of that little you know um, uh, instinct as far as wow, the King of the Ring's a big deal, like it was in the '90s. You know, it may not be as big as it was in the '90s, but it's good to you know kind of make them think that it is. Um, as far as Kane and Edge, that storyline, it's more of, to me, I mean, I personally, I like their match at Survivor Series. You know, you guys are probably going to hate me for that, but I liked it because it made Kane look athletic. You know, I said this in my review, but 
Um, the program is just interesting because of the promos they're cutting. It's more like a soap opera, but uh, a, dr a dramatic soap opera as far as like, you know, what's he going to do next with Paul Bear? You know, like it's like they're toying with each other. I, I like that aspect of it. Um, Dolph Ziggler right now, they're not really doing anything with him. Just having a program with Caval. Um, I understand some people were upset about how their match didn't deliver uh, at Survivor Series. At least from a lot of people's reviews, that's what I saw. Um, and a lot of people were mad that it was not higher up in the card. Well, did you guys not see how lack of a build-up it had to it? I know Ted DiBiase and Danny Bryan probably just had just as much as build-up as, as their match had, but there's a reason why Danny Bryan and Ted DiBiase's match opened up the show. Just saying. Uh, John Morrison um, and the Sheamus thing, um, I could only see them having a match in the King of the Ring, and then whoever, whoever advances... I would see John Morrison advancing farther, and then Sheamus comes back and screws him out of his, you know, out of his shot um, at the King of the Ring. So then their, their storyline would continue that way. Uh, the tag team championships, there's nothing really going on there. Divas championship, I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking maybe Beth Phoenix will turn heel and eventually feud with Natalia, because I mean, quite frankly, if you're gonna have Beth Phoenix stay as a heel, then you're really pushing Natalia to be that dominant heel. But how dominant can she be if she keeps beating up on the likes of Alicia Fox? Uh, lay cool that's it what other what other heel divas do we have i believe gail kim eve torres melina kelly kelly um rosa mendez everyone else's face the bella twins there's only like three uh heel divas so i really need to turn her heel again uh i think that's it i mean pretty much oh the well uh, the undertaker i don't really know Still don't have an idea when he will come back. The lights flickering at Survivor Series. I thought that might have been a sign, like, you know, or maybe they're trying to already tease his return, but it may be too soon to be doing that. Don't know. Um, Triple H's return still. It's up in the air. I mean, I hear a lot of people thinking he's retired. You really think uh, a guy with, with as big as ego as Triple H is just going to leave out of nowhere without having some sort of send off or an amazing match with, and a, with a lot of attention on it? Come on. Um. I think that's pretty much it. Um, CM Punk is in, I guess, announcer on Raw for the time being. I compare this a lot to Stone Cold um, coming out on Raw in 1996, 97, 97. I believe that's when it. After he broke his neck in that match against Owen, I believe it was 97, where you know he really wanted to be a part of the show. He was over, so they you know they had him do run-ins you know, the promos and whatever, just to keep them relevant. I think they're kind of doing that with Punk. I know he's not in the same position as Stone Cold was in 97, but I'm saying it's just so people won't forget about him. So it kind of stays fresh in people's minds. And when you least expect it, he will do a run-in on one of Daniel's, or there I go again, one of Daniel Bryan's matches. Um, I can easily see that, especially around WrestleMania time. I would love to see that match at WrestleMania between Daniel Bryan and CM Punk. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I don't, see what else there is to talk about and uh yeah i mean if if you guys uh picked up anything on black friday please let me know and what you pay for it. i'm just kind of curious to see what everyone picked up you guys hope you got literally hopefully you guys ripped off best buy or walmart you know because they always charge a lot of stuff for um a lot of money for a lot of stuff the rest of the year so i hope you guys uh were able to get some good deals on them and uh yeah, uh, we'll have a huge DVD, Blu-ray, VHS update uh, sometime next week. I'm just waiting for all the stuff to come in. I got about 10 DVDs to show. Uh, I think like 11 VHS tapes and like 3 Blu-rays. So uh, yeah, I'm going to look out for that if you're interested in uh, DVD update videos. But uh, yeah, that's it for now and uh, thank you guys for watching.